Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. For today's video, I thought I would do a makeup routine slash Q&A as it's my first ever video and I thought why not get to know me while I show you my makeup routine as in two in one. So I hope you like this video and give it a thumbs up and please go and subscribe. It'll really help my channel. And I'll leave my other socials down below in the description. So please go and give them a follow. It'd be very much appreciated. So let's get on to the video. Start off by showing you what I do make and then gonna answer a question while I'm doing it. Um, I have got a mirror next to me to see what I'm doing. So I'm not doing this by the camera. Um, so the first thing I'm going to use is the NYX First Space um, primer spray. I really recommend it. It's so good. So I'm just going to spray this. You'll need to build because otherwise it gets too dry. The first question I got asked is what is my full name? My full name is Sophie Isabella Jane Ferguson. So the foundation I'm using is the Fit Me Maybelline good coverage and everything. I have never swapped to a different foundation. I have got the MAC one, but I don't really want to waste it as I've only got a little bit left. My second question I got asked is my um, date of birth. My date of birth is the 14th 11, 2006. So I am now 14 years old. Um, the third question, I got asked is where do I live? I'm not going to go in much detail about this as it's personal, but um, I am from Wales, but I live in England. So I'm going to get into like, the actual wannabe questions now. Is what inspires me? What inspires me is helping like you girls with, as my contact is fashion and like vlogging and everything. As I absolutely love fashion. I recently got into fashion and I adore it and I want to help you girls build that confidence that I have because I absolutely hated my body, the way I dressed and everything and recently I'm absolutely loving it so confidence is key and you should grow on it and if you want like clothing hauls and everything go to my Instagram and have a look and there's a TikTok which I recommend you go and watch it but I will be posting more content and let me know what you want to see. If you could live anywhere in the world, where would it be? I would live New York, definitely New York, as I've always wanted to live to New York. It's actual, the like proper city I love. I've seen so many people like on TikTok, social media live there, and it's made me want to go even more. It's just I just love it so much, and I just can't wait until what succeeds in my life what is your dream holiday as my next question if you don't count new york as my dream holiday then i'm gonna have to go with probably bora bora if bora bora looks absolutely gorgeous and i would love to go um so the maldives as well i've seen like molly may went there and it looked absolutely gorgeous i'm not even saying it that's absolutely pain so what's your favorite clothes shop if you count this as online as well, my favourite online is Pretty Little Thing, Opoly, Sheen, Zafo, Zara. I like Primark. I know that's not online, but that's one of my favourite clothes shop. Top shop, all them ones. It depends what I'm looking for though. Some have a good variety of stuff like Primark's got really trendy, affordable like clothes. Whereas Pretty Little Thing has got affordable clothes as well so it depends where you want to go but some things I can't find online so I go to another store and it's actually amazing quality still and um, by the way the concealer I'm using is Tarte such a good concealer such a good coverage I'm using this um, contour stick to like contour your cheeks to give me a good colour which is the revolution one which is another good one I recommend my next question is what's your dream job which was I kind of answered in the last question I just had uh, my dream job is either a vet, a model, social influencer, if I succeed, like, I would love to help you girls out. And my other one was a fashion designer or like blogger, which my content is. So hopefully I can achieve the dreams I want. But my dream was to be moved to New York with doing them jobs. So it's like a two in one. 
I'm not gonna go into detail because I'll be here forever saying about it. What's your favourite film? My favourite, I haven't got a favourite film. I've got those of like films I like and I love, but I don't have a particular favourite one. Um, my it used to be High School Musical, which is still my favourite. High School Musical was absolutely the best. And I'm not even like, I only watch it because of Zac Efron. He's just gorgeous. I had obsession with him a couple of years ago. Absolutely gorgeous. I don't really know. I'll have to think about that one. Favourite music artist? My favourite music artist is... I got quite a few, but my top one is probably Beyonce again. She's iconic and I absolutely love her songs. I love to go and see her in concert. And if you've been again, once again, I'm jealous of you. I've been blending this contour on my hands really early really now. Um, what's the series you're watching at the moment? The series I am watching at the moment is Pretty Little Liars as it got taken off Netflix a couple, like a year ago now, I'd say. And I absolutely loved it. I was obsessed with it then. But recently, um, it's come back and I... <laughs> I've recently been watching Pretty Little Lies, as I was saying, as it's come back on BBC iPlayer, and I told you I was obsessed with it. But I have started watching Bridgerton, and oh my god, I am getting obsessed with it. Someone recommended me to watch it, like, it's the best. I don't know if that makes sense, I don't, but it's so good. I recommend you watching it. Okay, before I go on to the next question, I am going to do my eyebrows now, and I'm using the Anastasia eyebrow pomade is such a good eyebrow pomade i've never gone back to when i actually found it was molly may again once again i watch her youtube videos all the time and she used it and i was like oh i want to try that and i'm obsessed with it now i used the medium brown pomade and i don't really fill my eyebrows in that much because i don't really wear a lot of makeup but i'm gonna do them like i always used to so you know what is what's my go-to makeup product got to say once again probably foundation yeah so i would probably go with foundation for that one sorry i'm just looking as i can't really see what i'm doing in the mirror behind eyebrows are so hard to do if it's eyebrows are the worst thing to do and not even lying how tall are you i think i'm five foot six Six, five foot five. Last time I checked was five foot six. So I'm guessing I'm still because I don't know if I've shrunk because I am taller than my mum and my mum was five foot five. So um I honestly don't have a clue, but that's not last time I measured, so I have no clue. Next question is the perfect job or the perfect relationship. I gotta say straight away the perfect job because honestly I'd rather have a good job and succeed in life than have a relationship that might not work. I probably had to go with perfect job because then you can succeed in life and then finish and then do whatever you want and have new experiences then a relationship that might not work. Um, my next question is do you have a favourite sport? Um, I'm a very sporty like girl. I love my fitness and healthy lifestyle and sport. Like I eat healthy constantly. I prefer eating healthy due to like my mindset and everything. I don't know why, but and I'm really jealous of the girls that have high metabolism. If that's how you say it, I'm not. I'm not sure. Um, but honestly, it's so sad that you can eat whatever you want and don't put on weight. It's actually like not fair at all. I didn't answer the actual question. Um, my favourite sport got to be either running, swimming, horse riding if you class that as a sport. I don't really know what else. I do like netball and like dodgeball and everything because I find them fun. I netball at school. So I honestly think that's, I can't really think of again. Probably one of them, yeah. So my next question is your biggest fear. 
I'm gonna go straight into this question and say height. I'm not that kind of girl that's scared of spiders or anything. I honestly don't mind them all. I'll get freaked out at them. I'm scared of heights, like little heights. Like if you class it as like bridge or something, like walking over a bridge. I used to, but I'm not anymore. But if you go, I wouldn't go like say the London Eye. I wouldn't be able to go to the top. I would absolutely hate it if we did fall because that is my worst nightmare if we did. So I'm just, um, oh, I didn't tell you what concealer I actually use. I used, I don't know why, but I got a really light shade in the Revolution foundation stick. And I don't know why, because I thought it was like a dark one, but I actually like tried it under my eyes and it was a perfect shade instead of using the concealer up. So really good mate for concealer type. So I would go to that one. My next question is, have you ever been in a physical fight? No, um, I haven't, like in school or something. I'm that person that doesn't fight with people. I do get angry, I'm really like upset, and then I get angry. But I say no again because I haven't been in one. I honestly hate doing eyebrows. I don't know how people are like actually like do eyebrows and then get them perfect because that is not me. My next question. I've gone like through like 10 questions while doing my eyebrows though. So. I'm gonna finish my question before I actually finish my makeup, I think. That was not the plan. Do you have any hidden talents? I don't have any hidden talents, I don't think. I honestly don't. I, have, I can do the Donald Duck. I don't know if you class that as a hidden talent because I think most people can actually do that. Before I actually get into detail, I'm using the, once again, Revolution Duo Face Scrubs. I have got the face one, but I'm not going to use it because it's right at the bottom of my makeup box and it's too much effort to get it out. This is a good one if you want something affordable. Bronzy, if that's a word. Um, I can bend my finger about like that, but I can't crack my knuckles and everything. I'm very clumsy. I'm gonna go on to the next question because otherwise I'm gonna be chatting away. Um, the next question I'm going to do. Um, so the next question is, what's your star sign? Um, I'm a Scorpio. I think that's my star sign. Um, as I was born in November, and I think it is. Scorpio is the best in my opinion. The blush I'm using is the Mac Dolly Mix. I actually got this in a makeup set I got for Christmas, and I was like, whoa, that's really bright. But once you apply it, it's actually not that bright. I meant pink. Um, but you add a like, literally tap it, and then you add a little bit, and it actually doesn't come out that much. But it's such a good blush that I don't actually think it'll be that this good until here and there. But it's such a good one. Um, the next question is favorite non-alcoholic drink. Really gotta say, I don't drink a lot of pop. I drink mostly water, but if I was supposed to have a non-alcoholic drink, I would choose probably 7 up 3 or a Coke Zero. I'm using the Revolution Highlighter once again, as it's such a good one. Once again. <laughs> I apply it literally on my cheekbones, my nose, as you've got to have that shine. A bit on my forehead, and then I like to add a bit under my eyebrows to give it that natural a look my next question is do you have a lucky number and why i think my lucky number is 14 because i used to be obsessed with high school this goal when i said later back in the video and 14 was zach efron's basketball number it's on after i finish my makeup with the mac prep and prime and spray so good recommend it once again so i just literally spray it on but it's so watery you've got to do like just one or two pump so i just sit here for like two minutes and dry it off until i put my mask mascara on do i prefer my hair straight or curly um i probably prefer my hair straight. probably curly because it brings my blonde out more as i am a natural blonde but my roots are really brown and i hate it if anyone else has that problem you're in my boat here it's honestly the awful thing because you literally dye your hair blonde and then your roots grow back like what was the point of dyeing it and i actually tried the tip top tone where you buy that brown hair um, spray 
and I did it and I look nice in it but I just prefer my blonde hair as I'm a natural blonde I probably I like it straight sometimes it depends what I'm feeling and what I'm wearing in the occasion curly but it takes forever to do it as I have such thick hair um favorite pizza toppings um I'm using the use the mac and the Maybelline mascara as it gives such a natural eyelash but my favorite pizza toppings is probably I have quite a few I do like my vegetables like peppers onions mushrooms I honestly used to hate mushrooms but I honestly love them now they give like such a flavor if you like season them like chicken and ham on it and sweet corn and I absolutely love pineapple and pizza I know you all say like, oh, pineapple and pizza is absolutely horrible, but honestly, it's the best. Are you religious? I am not religious. I am not christened and I do not believe in God. I believe in ghosts and spirits, but I honestly not religious. What's your sexuality? My sexuality is straight. I am straight and I'm just going to leave that there. My favourite fast food place probably Taco Bell or Subway I'm not I only like the McDonald's wraps I like the McDonald's coke like that hits different if you get what I mean that hits different I honestly love Subway and Taco Bell favorite actor um I like Ian Somerhalder if you have not watched Vampire Diaries you need to go and watch this is the time to go and watch it it's honestly the best and Ian Sommer plays a good part in it. I am going to be using the Velvet Teddy Matte Lipstick. So good. Love it. It's been my first ever lipstick and I'm not changing it back. I'll use some like different, depends on what eyeshadow I do. I don't normally do eyeshadow because I just like a natural base. But my last question before I end this video, fave outfit. I have a lot of favourite outfits and I probably got to go with leather trousers like leather flares i'm recently obsessed with zebra print as it's a fashion now i do like a bit of beige and brown but probably zebra print and my leather flares something like on a leather blazer absolutely love a leather blazer so thank you for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it so this is my like full face not full face my natural face look done it's not that much as I don't really put much makeup on. I hope you enjoyed the questions and everything. If you get to subscribe and go follow my socials, it'll really help my channel. So, bye guys.